Hi guys, how are you doing? It's very nice to see you on my channel. You're very welcome here. Thank you for opening this video. And I thought I'm gonna make a quick video, like a little vlog probably, and have a chat with you because I actually haven't talked to you in a very, very long time. I've been so busy, I've been doing so many things, gathering loads of document, documents, and it's been like a really, really intense and tough process. And I thought that why not to film a video and have a chat with you, maybe answer some of your questions as well because you've asked me plenty of questions on Instagram and I thought that I can make this video and answer your questions here and tell you a cool thing um, is that it's already end of January yes and the days become longer so finally my life feels a bit longer and feels a bit better. I really love when the days are longer because I actually manage to do so many more things you know like I come home and it's not already dark it's still kind of light and I can go for a walk for example or I can still do something like do a bit of cleaning in the house when it's still bright so my life feels so much nicer and I can't wait for days to get even longer now let me show you what I did in January how I started my year and what's generally going on and I'm gonna answer some of your questions as well so guys it is what time is it? It's almost 5 p.m. So you can see it's still very bright outside, which is very encouraging. I really know that this, this view outside is really depressing. <laughs> I really don't like it and I can't wait to move from here because like all these great skies, gray skies and like this view is like really, really making me feel depressed. So yeah, I'm in the process of figuring out how I can get out of here. But uh, what can I say? At least it's bright at 5 p.m. <laughs> so uh, feels a bit bad, better than usually. Good morning guys. Um, I'm sorry for the lighting. It's really <laughs> strange like it's either too bright or too dark. So good morning. How are you doing? It's already the following day. It is a Saturday and I decided to bring myself for a breakfast to a lovely place in Malheim. So yeah, no, I'm driving, actually I'm waiting because there are road repairings, repairings, repairs, and uh, I'm just waiting here to arrive to that place and have a bit of a breakfast. So I forgot the mask, <laughs> I arrived to my place, yes where I'm supposed to have breakfast. I realized that I forgot the mask, so I had to come back to the car and get the mask. Luckily, I parked only like two minutes away, so I am gonna get it now. So yeah, perfect. Hope this place is gonna, not gonna be too bad because the same place in Hoth is like very nice and very lovely so I'll have a look if this place is nice as well now first question uh, somebody texted me and asked me to tell you about the current restrictions in Ireland guys unfortunately I'm so busy in my life I have like so many things to do in life that when I get in the evenings yes I get so tired I get so stressed out um, I have so much anxiety that my whole body even shakes of stress and I choose to give my time to myself, to relax, to take a shower, um, to try to talk to my family and relatives and my friends. And unfortunately, I cannot Google <laughs> the current restrictions for you. So if you want me to Google those restrictions for you, that's no problem. So you'll have to pay for a private consultation that's gonna be like 50 euro. Uh, that's no problems for 50 euro. I'm gonna Google those things for you But I think that it might be cheaper and not cheaper But free if you Google those restrictions yourself and find out what you need to do yourself Everything is very clear on the government website. Everything is official So I don't know if you want to pay me 50 euro to do the Google <laughs> Googling for you. Uh, it's up to you of course, but uh, yeah, this is how I do I only do private consultations if I if somebody wants to reply to something because I'm like so stressed out and I'm so tired and I have so many things to do in life. But about restrictions, again, you need to check what's the story with coming into the country, but we have less restrictions now. Uh, everything is open and it feels very, very, very nice. Oh, 
beautiful guys so i found that place and it was full with people it's a very tiny space and unfortunately i can't really recommend you this little cafe because it's it's very lovely, very nice, very new, amazing stuff, like, oh my god, so polite. <laughs> but it's too tiny and too small, and there can be only a few people in. So I got myself a cappuccino, because I am cold, and I got myself some takeaway um, pancakes. Yeah, takeaway pancakes, and I'm going to eat in the car. I would like to stay and eat outside, but it's so cold. And I'm afraid that I'm going to have a cold and I'm going to be coughing all the time. So I'll better sit and eat in the car. Okay, so my pancakes, they probably look a bit strange, but it's pancakes with like some chocolate drops, caramel sauce, banana and strawberry. Um, cappuccino and the parking. <laughs> Unfortunately, not the nicest view, but I found like a two hour free parking in Malahide, so at least I can eat. And at least there is a little bit of blue sky. While I'm eating, I'm gonna answer a few of your questions. So somebody to um, asked me on Instagram, could you let me know how is Dublin Business School for an MBA program? To be honest, I don't exactly know how it is for an MBA program because I have never studied in Dublin Business School and of course I can try to make up something if you want, yes, and tell you some fairy tales about it, but to be honest, I have never studied in there and I have no idea. But if somebody of you guys are watching me and if you started in Dublin Business School, can you please share your feedback about this school with us? Let us know in the comments because it seems to be very useful for many other people. What I can suggest you is probably to try to find some alumni and find out how's Dublin Business School, read some reviews, go on Google, see what people say about it. Um, I suppose there might be some videos on YouTube as well about Dublin Business School so we can learn a bit more about this place now about an MBA program I suppose it should be a mm, okay place for an MBA program because first of all if you move to Ireland and if you study somewhere and if you do your MBA it's great because education will help you to get into the new country to learn the culture to talk to a lot of new people to meet a lot of new cool people and of course you have to understand that not the most stupid people are going to study an MBA program. Like there are certain requirements to study MBA and of course there should be some pretty smart people. So it means that you'll be able to still make some good um, networking. Now, somebody told me, Bună ziua, pot să întreb și mai târziu bună. Yes, I'm going to translate it from Romanian. So they said, good afternoon, can I ask? And later, hi. Guys, ask me straight away. If I know, I will reply to you. If I don't know, I will not reply. So just simply go ahead and ask. And um, that's it. Hello, I started following you after encounter your videos on YouTube about living in Ireland. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you very, very, very much. Because I have this idea of moving from Portugal to Ireland, but I'm still having some doubts and concerns. Are you still living there? Yes, I am still living there. Um, so it looks like you're planning to move from Portugal. If you want, we can organize a private consultation. You are very welcome to text me about the private consultation. We can have a chat and um, I can answer some of your questions that you have or if a private consultation is too expensive you're very welcome to subscribe to patreon and on patreon i'll be able to make a post about your questions yes like not have a call with you but you can ask me ev everything you want to ask me and i will just make sure that i put everything in a nice long post where i explain everything to you but moving from portugal um, i suppose you have a portuguese citizenship which means it is an eu citizenship so it should be very easy for you to move you wouldn't have to do any kind of visas you can just simply buy yourself a plane ticket and fly over to Ireland like to Dublin or Cork or wherever you want to fly over so if you're an EU citizen you can do it very easily like you shouldn't even be bothered too much you can just simply come in for a few months at least and if you don't like it you don't like it if you like it you just keep staying here and everything is great another person from Portugal um, actually I've been talking to loads of people from Portugal and all of them they just speak English so well and everyone that I've been talking to has been so educated and so loved so yeah thank you for getting in touch a sushi chef with an 80 year experience in sushi oh my god sushi chef oh guys we need you here i need you here <laughs> um so somebody asked me is it easy to get uh, jobs as a sushi chef in ireland um to be honest i cannot tell you yes or no because i 
never worked as a chef and I'm not exactly sure how all these processes happen. What you can do is look on jobs.ie and see what's available with them. You might see some job opportunities. Another thing that you can do, like what I would have done probably if I was to be you, I would probably Google every single sushi restaurant and I would make my CV and send my CV over to that um, restaurant and offer myself. And you can even try to organize, for example, an interview from Portugal. I suppose this might happen. No, I can't tell you easy or not easy. Plus, you understand easy is such a word that means very different things to different people. Yes, like the words easy, difficult, good, bad. These words, they mean very different things to very different people based on their background, based on their culture. So, I can't really, you know, maybe easy means something in my opinion and easy means something different in your opinion. So what I can say is that probably try to yeah, go on jobs.ie and contact different kind of restaurants that do sushi and uh, you should definitely have a look and an understanding of what's going on in the job market for the sushi chefs. Cool guys, a few more questions and I'm gonna go home because I have to study in the afternoon and do plenty of things. Somebody asks me about transferring work for non-EU citizens from Italy to Ireland. I'm not exactly sure if I understand this question correctly, but I suppose if you transfer within the same company, like you work in, let's say, Google in Italy, I don't know if it is Google in Italy, but let's say if you work in Google in Italy and you want to transfer to Google in Dublin, you can ask your company and they will transfer you. I'm sure that they will get everything organized and they will be able to answer any questions. Or if you want, for example, to go and work in a different company, then most likely you can probably apply from Italy, yes, um, online. You can apply to different companies, have interviews online, and if you manage to find a job, then those companies will be able to sponsor you a work visa. The same person asks me if I entered Ireland with a work or a student visa and what documents to to provide. I did not enter Ireland without any kind of visa because I'm an EU citizen, so in my case I can simply buy a ticket and fly over, which makes of course my life much easier. This you can then study in Ireland. You can do a master's program, for example, and then you can get a two-year post-study visa and in those two years you'll be able to find yourself a job and the job will be able to further sponsor your visa and in five years time um, you should be able to apply for the Irish citizenship and then you would have to wait between 12 to 24 months and yeah then you can get your other citizenship and then you can happily live in here as well about the citizenship as well many people were actually surprised that in ireland you need to live for five years before you can apply for the citizenship uh, yes you need to wait actually for uh, five years to be able to qualify for um, the citizenship i know that in italy and i think in portugal as well you need to only wait for three years to apply for the citizenship if you have a chance to apply to the Italian citizenship but it would be better because Italian passport is stronger than the Irish passport so you might want to apply to that one and you'll only have to wait for three years before you have to apply uh, but here yeah you have to, to wait five years before you apply and then within those five years you have to demonstrate that you lived here like for example provide different kind of bank statements p60s employment detail summaries or renting agreement that renting agreement has to be registered with Orbit and then you need to provide different kind of bills like gas supplier, electricity supplier, car insurance, health insurance, doctor records and stuff like this and then you can apply. So yeah, it's a pretty long process. And the last question, somebody asked me if we can meet for, for example, a coffee. Yes, of course, it'd be lovely to meet you. If you want to send me a text on Instagram and um, whenever I'll have a chance, I'll get back to you. If you also want to tell me a little bit about yourself because it feels a bit weird, you know, like you know me a little bit. And and I don't know anyone, I don't know you, for example. Uh, so if you want to tell me a little bit about yourself and be like, hey, Anna, do you want to go grab a coffee or something? Uh, I would be very happy to go grab a coffee. I totally understand that I'm kind of getting a bit more um, into myself. Yes, more introverted, especially after this lockdown. I feel like I have... 
a bit of a social phobia, like just a tiny little bit, you know, like I'm kind of okay to be on my own, but I realize that it's great to get out, to meet new people, to communicate, and uh, there are so many interesting and great people, so yeah, definitely give me a quick, quick text, would be nice to see you. I remember that somebody asked me this question a while ago, <laughs> and it was like, a while ago, I mean a few years ago, and I was like, no guys, I'm not going out for coffees and stuff like this, but back then I was um, studying and I was also trying to work and I was also trying to manage everything and my life was so busy and I had no even time for myself so I of course did not really manage to get out and meet people and really enjoy my life but now I would have a bit more time even though I'm still studying a course but still I definitely have more time I'm more flexible so I definitely can find some some time again guys cheers for this weekend I'll try to post this video uh, tomorrow on Sunday so you might watch it on Sunday now I'm gonna go home I'll probably go to the shop do a bit of uh, grocery shopping and then go home because I have to study a very intense intense course. I might tell you about it a bit later. And yeah, let me know what you think about these kind of videos and I might see you in the next ones. Uh, make sure to give this video a like, to subscribe to my channel and also if you want you can follow me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is in the description to this video or you can find many more links in the description to this video. So yeah, cool, let's go home because um, it's a beautiful day and it's still slightly sunny. Very, very, very nice.